So you're probably wondering or asking yourself, where could I possibly use this? And on guys check it out we're back at it again this week this is a pretty simple exercise but i want to add a little flair a little twist to it let's go so i like to break this exercise down to its simplest form and into numbers as well so the only numbers you will need to know is one three five seven nine and then back to one so one three five seven nine five different numbers so we're going to be using the same elements that we use using the modes doing and playing the modes that we've done before <laughs> and so on you guys know the rest of it if you've been playing the modes for any length of time you can play this in any key obviously but for this example we're going to be playing it in the key of c uh we can play it in the key of f or g or it doesn't matter it's the same exact positioning for wherever you move this on the fretboard so let's go through the seven modes we're going to use those numbers that we talked about before one three five seven nine and then back to one okay so when i say back to one i really mean eight but eight is considered to be one, the same thing, but just know that eight is the same exact note as one. So I'll be referring to that as well. So let's go to the nine. You might be thinking we haven't really played the nine or I haven't really played or you know experienced the nine. We've only done one octave, one octave scales. But if you were to keep going in that scale, you would reach the nine, which would be the next note of the scale. So the ninth note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's where you will reach that ninth note. The formation, the position is gonna be a little bit different. What you wanna do is play it like this. But for the first mode or the first scale, you wanna play it in first position. We have our regular major seven arpeggio right there. One, the three, the five, and the seven. Finger numbers, one, four, two, one. If you guys are interested in that. So now we're gonna play the nine. The nine happens to be right there where our pinky lands. And then back to one or back to eight. Okay, so all together. Playing it this way makes it sound a little bit more melodic instead of just the I mean, they all sound melodic because you're coming from arpeggios in its actual form of the scale. But this way you add a little bit of variety to it. You do. So you're creating another element to make it sound that much more interesting while playing this exercise. That's the first one. The next one, we're going to go based off of the Dorian scale. But we're going to position this in first position as well. So we have one, three, five, seven. We have one first finger, fourth finger, third finger, first finger. Now the nine in this scale is right here. We have to do a little bit of a stretch. Just one more fret. You guys got it. Right? And then back to the one. Okay, so we're just going diatonically based on each scale. So we're just moving it up C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian. The next one. So we have our regular minor seven arpeggio there. So the nine on this particular scale, on the Phrygian scale, we would usually go a whole step above the root note. But now it's only a half step away. So we just have to realize or just remember that. That nine is only a half step away from the root note. So one, three, five, seven, nine, one. Okay, so fingering. One, four, three, one, four, three. And that one is pretty simple because you don't have to stretch or do any other movements. So for the next, the Lydian scale is gonna be exactly the same as the Ionian scale. We're gonna start that on the fourth note of the C major scale. So it starts on F. So we have first position. Next we have G Mixolydian. Now for the G Mixolydian, we have a flat seven there. So we have one, three, five, flat seven. Remember we're going bass diatonically to the scale. So if you notice, you have all whole steps here. simple to remember right da, 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 da. next one we have our regular minor seven arpeggio da, 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 da. that's going to be the same as the dorian we have a aeolian scale 
scale is the exact same formation as the Dorian scale, or as, or yeah, a Aeolian is the same formation as the D Dorian scale. Next we have the D, uh, sorry, the B Locrian. All right, so based on the scale, we have one, three, five, seven, and then nine. Nine is right there because of the scale, because we have a flat two on the scale. So the two is the octave of the nine or vice versa. The nine is the octave of the two. So we have one, three, five, seven, nine. And then we're gonna end it here. To the one, and then you can hit the one. So that's how we'll end the exercise and I'll have this written down for you guys so you can follow along. So all together we have You're probably wondering or asking yourself where could I possibly use this and and truthfully there's tons of ideas and examples and songs that you can use this I actually use it myself all the time if you slow down what I'm playing you'll you'll just realize I'm playing exercises that I'm teaching you guys uh, but at the same time they're very melodic and you can put them in certain spots especially if you have just a major song or a minor song uh, you can do it pretty freely so say a song like this So if you guys see there, what I did was, I, it's actually going by pretty fast, but I'm playing the first two parts of the exercise. So that went by pretty quick. That was just for an example, uh, but I'm actually playing it in a different key, in the key of A, Mixolydian. So I started on the D, but we'll get into that a little later. Maybe I'll do a different lesson on why I chose or why I played it there in that key or specific key or started there anyway but you get the idea I played the same exact notes as you see the same exact formation one three five seven nine one one three five seven nine one so Ionian and Dorian and I actually fit it right in that song is actually a, a bit much to try to fit in that song but you get the idea I can slow it down maybe half time uh, do, 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 but you guys get the idea or the example of how this can be used uh, there's plenty of other different ways it can be used as well different songs that's just one of them like i said if you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed if, well if you're not new here and you haven't subscribed what is wrong with you push that red subscribe button click that notification bell icon uh, so you can get notified every single time we upload a video on this channel every single week actually also if you like this lesson and you want to see more like this and dig a little bit deeper into your bass playing ability the bass nation derekbennett.com is where you want to be the online bass education academy where thousands of students are enhancing their bass playing every day you get personal feedback from me and other instructors there's also weekly live stream webinars and classes along with tons of courses and it's so much stuff i forget to actually name it but anyway whatever you're looking for it doesn't matter beginner intermediate advanced we have whatever you need so check it out it's going to be in the description below the link is going to be there also maybe up here somewhere i'll put it on the cards or something anyway go check it out for yourself a three-day free trial uh, you have nothing to lose i'll see you over there